Our whole world today revolves around predictions. In a single day, our brain makes thousands of conscious and subconscious predictions. We predict whether we have enough time to finish a particular task or we would catch a train in time. Many things such as gambling rely on our ability to predict. Every decision we make can be considered as a prediction because in a sense we are predicting it to be a good decision. Of course, not all predictions turn out to be accurate. Some may be a bit off while others might go horribly wrong. So far, we saw only simple examples of prediction. Not all things are easy to predict. Let us take a look at something which might seem simple at first glance but is very hard to predict in reality. The position of a swinging double pendulum. Before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. You're asking why? Because we desperately need it. Predicting the position of the bob of a double pendulum is a difficult and complex task. But this can be achieved through a certain set of equations. When the initial variables are provided, we can accurately calculate the required data. And here's the catch. One might assume that a slight change in the input variable can lead to only a small fluctuation in the output. But the contrary is true in this case. Even a minute change in the initial variables will cause a drastic variation in the end result. A common real life example of such a system is the weather condition. Predicting the weather depends upon a plethora of factors such as temperature, wind direction, humidity and so on. Hence, an accurate forecast is nearly impossible without the precise measurement of all these values. Here's an interesting story. In 1960, an MIT meteorologist, Edward Lorenz, was running a weather simulation. For the ease of calculation, he rounded off the input variables to the nearest thousand. The results were shocking and nowhere similar to the actual prediction. This showed how a small change in the initial condition can change the output drastically. This led to the birth of the chaos theory, otherwise known as the butterfly effect. Keep in mind that the pendulum and weather example can be fully determined and are not random events. This kind of phenomenon is known as deterministic chaos, but it's highly unpredictable and subject to great variations. Lorenz and his team further ran more simulations by slightly varying the input data every time. They found that the results followed a concentric pattern which never overlapped, similar to the wings of a butterfly, which is where the name butterfly effect comes from. Here we can observe that the paths seem to circumnavigate two specific points, as if they are attracted to them. This is popularly known as Lorentz Strange Attractor. So the next time you complain about the weather forecast being wrong, remember the butterfly effect. No, not the movie, the theory. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, give us a thumbs up and don't miss our next video on how social media is becoming a drug. Thank you and have a great day.